Hello, this is Angelia with today's Bible reading. Today's reading comes from Revelation 8, the seventh seal, the trumpets. When the Lamb broke the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. So when Jesus breaks that seventh seal, all heaven's going to be quiet because they know stuff getting ready to go down. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. So there are seven angels that stand before God. Um, some people call them the archangels, and they give the archangels other names. You know, I've heard there's four archangels, and now there's only three because one of them, you know, went the other way. Um, but, you know, this is all we know is uh, there's seven standing before them, and they get seven trumpets. Another angel came and stood at the altar, holding a golden censer, and much incense was given to him, so that he might add it to the prayers of all the saints on the golden altar which was before the throne. So, you know, your prayers, um, if you are one of the saints, people who are saved and believe in Jesus, um, your prayers are like a pleasant offering. I mean, Jesus said that and the Lord said that. Um, to God and so they're you know on the altar uh, before God uh, a pleasing offering and incense is going to be added to that uh, when when it starts getting rough <laughs> and the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints went up before God out of the angel's hand so you know the prayers uh, coming up before God the incense is now burning before God so we know God's getting ready to do some stuff. Then the angel took the censer and filled it with the fire of the altar and threw it to the earth. And there followed peals of thunder and sounds and flashes of lightning and an earthquake. So when the angel throws that down to earth, um, you know, uh, the belief is it's going to be, you know, a comet or asteroid or whatever. Uh, but anyway, if you can imagine... Uh, something from heaven the size of that hitting the earth is going to be devastating and uh, you don't want to be left here you don't want to be left behind <laughs> and the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound them so they're getting ready the first sounded and there came hail and fire mixed with blood and they were thrown to the earth so, you know, um, when this sensor comes down, um, like I say, it could be an asteroid, you know, as far as we're concerned, but, you know, there's going to be hail and fire, you know, coming down mixed with blood, and that could be from, you know, the people who are dying around you, I mean. And a third of the earth was burned up. So, a third of the folks, a third of our earth gone. And a third of the trees were burned up, so, you know. Our thing that keeps us breathing here on earth gone and all the green grass was burned up so all the grass no grass left the world's just gonna be a desert the second angel sounded and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea so you know uh, like a, a volcano you know thrown into the sea if you can imagine what that's gonna do and a third of the sea became blood. And a third of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. You know, which, I mean, of course it would if threw a volcanic mountain into the sea. And a third of the ships were destroyed. So, you know, uh, ships out on the ocean that day, gonna wish they weren't. The third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of waters. Um, so some people have decided this is pinpointed in a certain place where a third of the springs come from, like it's on this part of the world, maybe South America, maybe it's over here, you know, where the Nile, Tigris, Euphrates, and all that, you know, nobody knows for sure, God knows for sure, and we'll find out <laughs> the name of the star is called wormwood and that's my um problem with <laughs> some of the people 
uh, at NASA named one of those big old asteroids up there Wormwood. Why? Why? No one's asked here. Why would you do that? You should have named it Gentle Nice Asteroid. You know, <laughs> don't tempt fate. Why? <laughs> and a third of the waters became Wormwood. And many died from the waters because they were made bitter. You know, in other words, poisonous. Um, so, you know, the water's not even going to be safe to drink in them times. The fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars were struck, so that a third of them would be darkened, and the day would not shine for a third of it, and the night in the same way. So, you know, uh, stars are going to be dying, stuff's going to be falling out of the sky, our cycle on the earth of day and night is going to be messed up, you know, again. You don't want to be left here when that's happening. Then I looked, and I heard an eagle flying in mid-heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth, because of the remaining blasts of the trumpet of the three angels who are about to sound. So, you know, um, that is an eagle from God. Um, it is probably one of the creatures um you know the, the man could perceive it uh and understand it so when the seventh seal's broken and the trumpet starts sounding you better hope you were saved and uh headed up there with jesus before then because the earth is going to be in a bad way amen uh please like and share this word so we can spread it around the world uh, if you want to help me out, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to help me out even more, go to my Patreon page and become a patron. That's all for now. Until next time.